Good. You worked on recently on Predator Upgrade and on Stranger Things and all of these new shows. Is it differently or is it different to work these days than it was, let's say, 10 years ago? Is it more difficult to get the part? Um, because there are many, many male shows and many, many more actors. Involved. Yeah. Is it like Uzi is still the name? Oh, well, I wish it, that, that it was that easy. Uh, I, don't, I don't feel that it was ever like that. It was never that easy. Uh, UC is the name or what you know, like what you said. Um, fortunately, the last couple of years have been very busy. Um, had some time off and I've been working towards uh, a, a resurgence, a comeback. You know, we're trying to get a body of work together to get back to where I had been, and uh, so I was very fortunate that Shane Black asked me to be in The Predator, and then, you know, really it started, and it, you know, yeah, but the, the point of The Predator was that it was gonna tie in the movie with Predator 2, with my dad's character, and we shot a bunch of stuff that yes, that did not. tie him in, to the, the movies together, yeah. Um, didn't make the movie, the studio changed the entire film, and then, so I was watching the film and I thought, well, geez, what's the point of me even being in the movie, you know? But uh, I'm glad I was in it. Yeah. Um, and it, that started out with Robert Rodriguez hiring me for the series From Dust to Dawn. That yeah. kind of kicked off a great comeback trail for me. Yeah. Um, so From Dust to Dawn onto The Predator and then did Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yes. And, uh, and then, thankfully, Predator uh, led into the people over at the Swamp Thing. They liked that, the DC Comics, so I, I did a Swamp Thing deal, and then Stranger Things. Um, so it's been a busy, busy couple of years, but all of these shows released this, this last summer of 19. So I had five different shows on at the same time, which was, was great. Some in the movie theater, some on TV. Uh, and I thought, oh, well, when those films and TV shows hit, then as per the normal course of action in Hollywood, okay, well, at that point, great, then, then more work will come and I'll be able to get some bigger roles and keep, keep growing. And, uh, but right now with culture the way it is, um, the type of person that I am and the way I look doesn't really fit with what is uh, in style and in vogue, so um, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen as far as as uh, the career goes and, and further work. Um, trying to get more work, auditioning, and hoping for something good. It's very odd in a in a environment where there's so many shows, yes. so many streaming networks, so many things going on, but. Um, so one would think, well, God, the opportunity is there more than ever. Yeah. But, but things have really changed. Um, and so I don't know if a whole bunch of projects actually translates to a bunch more opportunity for work, really. Yeah. Uh, d depending on who you are, I suppose. Well, um, what I've never got is that nobody casted you or your father against sorry, the stereotype. Well, thank you. Yeah, I really only get the opportunity. Yeah, yeah. So far, the only opportunity I have to to really stretch as an actor and do very diverse roles is in the independent film world. Um, but when it comes back to the big projects, they tend to only expect me to be a, a, a bad guy, a villain, or a psycho. Well, especially being white and a male, like right now, that's just you're a villain. That's that's. That's the only thing. So I've had to pass on a bunch of roles recently because the only re roles available for a white male are, are like white supremacist or misogynist or rapist, and I just don't want to play those roles. So I guess I'm on a little bit of a break as far as that type of stuff goes. Um, and hopefully more diverse things will come my way. I'm, I'm plugging away, I'm ready, ready to rock and roll. And thank you. Thank you. you. Can scare the 
shit out of me, but I think it's going to make me <laughs> love hard. And, uh, and uh, I never got that there is not like a new Western series that is really a good Western series like there were good Western series. I mean, there's Yellowstone with everyone. Yeah. Yellowstone's Baby, great. And, and yeah. Only his money is so right. also Kevin's way of thinking that. But, uh, yeah. As is many of the shows that are on right now, I, I, I think it's it seems to be with the risk factor involved. A lot of the shows are are really different people's pet projects. It's uh, the big system is is I think reinventing itself right now. The studio system and the way things are done and um, the streaming networks have certainly taken over and they have a different way of doing things. Um, and thankfully, I was hired by Netflix, and I got to do Stranger Things. Yeah. Um, hopefully, something else will happen in the future. Um, but you would also work with Walt if there's a chance to do that. I just love to be working. I love to be busy. Yeah, making movies, making busy shows. Busy. Yeah, busy busy. Thank you so much <laughs> for the interview. Well, thank you. It was a pleasure. Thanks. Oh, well, have a great day.